look in this package and in this package I seem to have um, looks like two long ones and two short ones maybe two long grub screws and two short grub screws so sometimes you're going to find that a grub screw is going to go in a certain location and if your brain gets scrambled like mine does you don't always remember where it goes but in this case I'm going to show you so I do have uh, two what I call short grub screws they would probably be considered medium um, and then I have two that are a little bit longer so we're going to take this barrel now if you'll notice there's three holes that run around this collar on either side one two three the one in the middle has threads there's already a grub screw in that hole so what I like to do is you've got your holes right here on your gun take and turn the grub screws turn the, the holes the collars in the barrel turn the barrel okay to where you have holes sticking up here you have two that are level with you now you're going to take and you're going to put make sure there's no trash on the end of there you're going to take and put your barrel in here just just ever so gently just take your time slide it in there now you're going to you're going to meet a little resistance on there and that's because you're you're up against your hammer spring okay so what i like to do is just take it just barely barely push in on that just to get it lined up if you're not perfect you can you can turn it a little bit i'm going to take the shorter of the four grub screws and i'm going to put the short ones in on the side because you you want them to screw down flush okay you don't want them sticking out it doesn't feel very good when you grab your gun another thing the threads are actually in the receiver of the gun so you just screw it down you don't need to you do not need to torque down on these things guys if you gall those threads up because these grub screws are steel and the the gun frame is aircraft grade aluminum um, yes it's tough for that reason but if you take and gall that aluminum threads into the steel threads good luck you're going to have a just a world of hurt you'll have to send your gun back to air force and um, we don't want that i mean they'll fix it for you no problem but it's just it's better to take your time and be gentle um, i don't know if there's a specific torque value on these um, i'll look that up and if there is i'll have to call the factory but if there is a specific torque value i'll put it on the screen or i'll put it in the uh, description below of what the grub screws are supposed to do so now we are down to the two bottom grub screws and remember guys you're gonna you're gonna freak out you go oh my gosh there's four holes and I have two grub screws remember your your hand guard it goes in the very back hole right there and the one on the very front of it is for your end cap so I've got these great big old fingers, so I'm going to use this. Um, and, and I would not recommend using a drill or, uh, you know, anything of that nature because that really, and I just need to loosen this up just a little bit because I should not have done my final tighten until I got all of my grub screws in line. You don't want to force it. If you go to put that grub screw in and it, you meet a lot of resistance, don't force it. Back it out um, and see how easy that went back in because I loosened the sides up. Um, now you can go ahead and snug up the bottom. And then you can snug up the sides. And again, there is no need to just try to tighten the snot out of these things so now you take your take your end cap you slide it down on there take your little grub screw that you had in the beginning that was on your old end cap put it right in here like this and just snug it up there's no need to bear down into that cap or you know try to send it to 
kingdom come, just snug it up just a little bit. Now we got another wrench, and I don't really remember the size of the Allen wrenches. Um, I don't think that they're marked on there, and if it was, my old eyes couldn't see them. Uh, so I'd have to get out my old man glasses or my magnifying glass. That's right. So uh, anyway, so you just want to snug up your uh, front grip just a little bit, and voila! You have just swapped out a barrel, and you have turned your Talon P into a, an escape. So there you go. All that rambling, all that carrying on. Now I have a 22 caliber rifle. I just modified it. Uh, golly, I got enough money left over that I could go buy another scope, or I could buy something different, uh, something else for it. Um, now, one of the little tips I want to give you guys, maybe you don't know, maybe you do. Uh, on your buttstock, once you get it set to your length, you can actually, you don't have to run it down here on the bottom like a lot of traditional guns are. This, if you run it up at an angle, it makes a really good cheek rest right there. You could wrap it with something or maybe you could put you a piece of uh, foam rubber or something so you don't have that cold metal against you, but it really makes for a nice cheek rest and you can just line your scope up, take your shot, and voila. So um, you can actually uh, do whatever you want to do. Now you are ready to go prairie dog hunting and you're ready to go uh, squirrel hunting. You got whatever you need to do with this setup. Guys, uh, man, this has been great. I'm gonna take the old set screws, okay? The old grub screws, and I'm gonna put them back in this bag, just like this, and I'm going to take my cap and my barrel and I'm going to put them back in the, in the cardboard and I'm going to mark it and I'm going to put it in the closet and next time I have a wild hair and I want to go back to my Talon pistol, I will. So uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was informative. I hope this... Uh, I hope this eases your mind just a little bit when you go to thinking you want to change your barrel. Guys, this is Rick Ward, the Urban Air Gunner. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Please hit the subscribe button if you like this little video and it was helpful. Hit the subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, guys, remember, don't just hunt it, air gun it. We'll catch you next time.